Hello and good afternoon. My name is Martin Cowart and welcome to Noonday Meditation and Contemplative Prayer Power Hour, where we've been gathering every day at noon Eastern Daylight Time, Monday through Saturday, as a sanctuary, as a refuge from the drama to love and support each other through this pandemic or through this darkness. And it is dark. I mean, there is no doubt about it. And it, 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 and, and, and you can look at the statistics. I mean, things like depression and alcohol and drugs relapse and, um, and suicide rate, all these things that, uh, that impact our emotional well-being uh, this is having this is having a this is having its toll on those of us from who have emotional problems, emotional issues, you know, or even if we don't have emotion, we, we got we got some stuff going on right now. Period. It, this is dark, and and that's why we come together because we need the light of each other. We need the bright light of each other's hearts to shine. So that we can we can we can begin to shine and be a light in this darkness. And I ask if you would, when you join us today, if you do join us, if you thank you for being here, if you would just please um, write in the comment section in the chat section and just let me know you're here. It's nice to know you're here, and I like I appreciate you saying hello, and I appreciate all your comments, and uh, it creates more of a dialogue when we when when you when you when you put things into the chat. So please do that so that I know you're here. And, um, you know, I like, I like the love and support myself. So <laughs> it's nice to know you're here. So please do that if you would. Um, and what I want to talk about is it came up last night when I had a couple of my MKP uh, warrior brothers over, we were sitting, we have our usual Tuesday night gathering and there's just a few of us. So we, we just kind of, we just kind of set up, set around the fire and just, and just began to talk about, how we were feeling about the current state of affairs in the world. And um, the beauty of that group is we can go pretty deep with each other and because um, we do a lot of shadow work together. Um, e another word for shadow work is ego work. We look at our egos, <laughs> another way of looking at that, and how the, our egos and our beliefs can get in the way of us living good, good lives and, and happy lives from the heart. And we, we kind of started out talking about watching that, what I would call a horror show on the news when uh, they had this horrific looking picture of the White House and the president and this newly appointed, uh, somewhat rushly appointed uh, Supreme Court justice ceremoniously confirmed on the, on the steps of the White House with all these bright lights and American flags. And it was a horror show and it felt, it felt terrible. And it was reminiscent of old videos of looking at Nazi, Nazi Germany war videos, Nazi flags and, you know, patriotism, nationalism and all that kind of stuff, which is, which is the message we constantly get from this current administration. So it, it, it did its job. Uh, it's, you know, I mean, I was, we, we, we were all acknowledging that we were feeling some fear as a result of it. And we were like, well, what do we do with that fear? Hey, Mindy, how are you doing today? Yeah, no, not a haircut. I think I just combed my hair a little differently. Um, I shaved my beard a little, I trimmed my beard and stuff. I don't know, but thank you for noticing. <laughs> um, <coughs> but what we know about fear and shadow work is that the shadow is the illusion or the lie behind the gold. So in the work we do, we begin to mine the gold out of the shadow, mine the gold, mine the light, find the light in the shadow. So we feel our way deeper into the shadow. And we said, you know what, what is truly, what's, what's, what's the truth? What's the, what's the purpose of all this? Why is it happening? And I don't know quite frankly why, but as we got close, we got further into it we began to sort of unpack it and think about in terms of what's really happening in this moment. What can we be grateful for right now? And what is this lie trying to tell us? And it's usually the opposite of what the lie is. Um, 
and uh, because it's the opposite of, of fear is love. So and the way to kind of transform that is we began to talk about the things we were grateful for right now in all of this pandemic. What are the things we're grateful for in our leadership? And we were all like really grateful for the fact that we've got Joe Biden and Kamala Harris as the two candidates to be our next president. And we were excited about them because one, they're, they've got a lot of courage to speak the truth to power, which is, I think, very, very powerful. We need we need we need courageous truth right now, compassionate truth. They're compassionate. It, their, their message is clearly one that they care about us as people and the people that they're, they're being elected to take care of. So there's a there's a there's a congruency there that feels good. Uh, they're empathetic. They seem to understand what it's like to be sick or to, to be without or to be afraid, and they understand and that and they. They share that sense of empathy with us, and they're certainly competent. They've certainly got the experience and the wherewithal and the know-how to be able to run this country in a very powerful way. And the, one of the things that makes that so exciting is that not, as, as we've gone through this process, you see the difference, love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Hey, Audrey. My health. My health, yeah, you got good health. I see the difference. Thank you. Yeah, and so as we if we shift it away it, it, from we we manifest what you know that, that word manifest or create is often I think misused. After the book came out a few years ago of um, uh, what is it called, The Secret, and it was kind of like misinterpreted that we could just you know, kind of manifest a new car in the driveway simply by thinking positive thoughts about it or something kind of ridiculous like that. And um, it's not really what it means. It means that we, we, whatever, we are creators and we can create, we create from wherever we are. So, and we've created a very toxic environment as human beings. That's what, that's what, how we got it. We all participated in that by way, in some way, by the way, not, it's not those people. Um, because we're we're here. We we help help create this. But if we help create this toxic environment, we can also create one that's that's nurturing and loving and healthy and prosperous. And so that's what we decided to do last night. We said, well, why why do I want to project my fear into the future and get a, and get a and get a scary future? Well, we could sit here right now and have a lot more fun by tapping into the truth of who we are and what we're grateful for and say, how do we, what do we do with that? How do we project that in the future? So we just had a grand time sitting by the fire talking about the fact that we've felt pretty certain that, that Kamala and Joe Biden are going to win by a landslide. And that the major the, 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 the Democrats are going to take over the Senate and they're going to take over the white house. They're going to take over the, and they're going to take over the, they're going to be, we're going to be in power. The Democrats are going to be in power, and that's a good thing because we're going to be the one. We we have always been the ones, at least in the current situation, we have been the ones that are that have been the, who have the most care for the people that they govern, and that's exciting. So we got about excited about the fact that that's that's going to happen, and then with that in the horizon, with these powerful leaders, we've got also we're grateful for all the people that have been coming up and coming into into the into the limelight with them, people like. Uh, Stacey Abrams and Beto and Pete Buttigieg and Andrew Como uh, and others that you know stood on the stage to to in, in the early days of the race for the for the presidency, we got to know them. We've got such powerful men and women who are courageous and have all those attributes that make for good leaders that can take great positions, great positions with uh, in our government to create, I mean, we thought about having someone who's really good in, in the in environmental protection agency. He also understands, um, I can't think of the guy's fellow's name, but the Asian fellow who ran for president, who ran for the Democratic uh, position, he was so brilliant and a, he was a, a brilliant financier and he was also big on the big on the environment. Think about having someone like that running our EPAs, someone who gets it both from a financial perspective the financial benefits as well as the earth benefits. That's what we needed. That was exciting. 
just just as we as we begin to really imagine reimagine generosity in our world uh we, we this 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 pageantry we saw on, on whatever night that was i don't remember what night it was it was monday or tuesday night when they had them march out on the front of the it was horrific it's absolutely horrific and um and so we 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 we, what we did we changed that into gold and we just had a great time imagining together uh, a, a wonderful, a terrific, a beautiful future, a bright future, a bright United States, mm -hmm. a, uh, a new earth grounded in love and joy and prosperity. Well, I talk about here all the time. And um, and yes, we, 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 we're in a blue. We, we, we are we are creating the blue wave. And it's fun to be part of it. And. But we need to come together and remind each other, because I mean, like all of us the other night, we got pretty well. I was pretty, pretty beat up with that whole idea of when she when they made when they railroaded her into the position of um, of Supreme Court justice. I mean, I certainly don't agree with any of her views and um, on things like anything, quite frankly. And it's scary, but it doesn't have to be because there's what we know from things that appear scary. Fear is an illusion. When, it, when you feel fear, look through it and find out what's behind that. And, 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 and what's behind that is the the faith that I can feel the I can feel the light in the dark before dawn. Right now. We're all feeling that. And uh, that's exciting. So what kind of bright future do you want to imagine? And um, and if you find yourself getting into some darkness, which we're going to we do from time to time, we bound to it. We can't help it. Uh, when you look at the TV and you see two hundred and twenty something. 220 something, 22,000 Americans have died, and we've got a, a, a administration that's wanting to run again, who has absolutely had no interest in protecting people from this deadly virus, and actually putting the people who support him in harm's way. I don't understand this picture. I don't understand it. But I'm not here to understand it. But there's some gold in it, and that and that is leadership. And we're lucky, lucky, lucky that these bright, shining stars are coming up on television tonight to lead us out of this darkness. And I have all the faith in the world that next week we're going to elect Pamela, Kamala and, and, and Joe Biden into those positions of president and vice president. And we're also going to take over the Senate. And, uh, and, and we're going to put this country back on course where it's a place that we can be proud of. And that we can feel good about because we have values that, that that show the world we do care about people. That's the that's the big message. We we this is so upsetting is we've gotten a clear message that from this administration they don't he doesn't care about us. <laughs> that's that's plain and clear. They don't care about the people they're here. They're paid to govern, and they got to go. <laughs> and it's going to be exciting when we get people in in power that do care about us because we care about them. And love, love, love and prosperity will prevail. So that's what I got this morning. Anybody got something else they want to add to that? You know, what are you doing to what are you feeling about this idea of creating a new earth built on love and prosperity and, and light and and, 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 and and a different way of seeing the world that's just much more much much brighter than what we currently live in. Think about what you're grateful for when you're feeling, you know, you know gratitude is the antidote to fear. Whenever you the research has shown that you can't actually feel fear and gratitude at the same time. So if you're feeling fear, one of the things you can stop and do is just stop for a second, feel the fear and look around and begin to look at and count the things you're grateful for. Count your blessings in this life and see if we don't get some kind of shift. Yeah. See, so I want to meditate today with me.
let me turn on this let me turn on my timer and we will meditate Yes, pray for our country's welfare. Yes, absolutely. That is exactly what we need to go back to old school and pray for our country's welfare. What a beautiful idea. Really, sincerely, for the welfare of everybody. That we have leadership that takes care of every people and we have input economic structures and social structures that benefit all people. Health care for all people. We've got plenty of resources in this country. There's no reason that everyone here in this country can't go to college, can't go to school, to live a life of, of in, infinite possibilities. And they should all be, every human being in the country, in the world, quite frankly, sh should have access to good health care, food, shelter, clothing, and opportunity. And that's what we're praying for, a country that provides those benefits for everyone. And, and anything else is coming from a place of lack of scarcity. And we've got everything we need here within us and within the country and with resources to have all those things. And people want that. There's no reason we can't have it. So I agree. We need to get back to old school and pray for our country's welfare. And let's just do that right now. So raise your arms up in the air. Feel the power of life, that life force in your hands. Just feel it tingling in your fingers. And then bring your mind down to your toes and feel that life force within you that raised your hands, that's hearing my voice. You may be hearing it through your ears and translating it through your brain. But it's the being in you and the being in me that's hearing and doing the talking. Remember, many humans, one being, one being, many humans, one being. That's connection. So put your hands in your lap. And allow yourself to get comfortable and begin to do some mindful breathing. Which is just like it sounds. You just begin to set the intention of your mind, the mind's intention attention to your breath that could be the in breath and the out breath the rise and the fall of your rib cage allow your breath to soften the mind soften the edges and let go of things Intentionally let go of any thoughts you might have. Let go of any beliefs and opinions you have about me, yourself, this world, COVID-19, the president. Let them all go. Hold on to nothing. And allow yourself to be still. And if thoughts come up, as they do, that is their nature. It's to accept the thought with love and let it go. And you're going to hear some interval bells throughout the meditation, four exactly. When you hear the bell and the sound of my voice, allow that to wake you up and wake us up from any trance we may have gone into with a thought. And let it go. And fall back into love. Think less, feel more. How are you feeling? right now
Scan your interior landscape for anything you might be feeling. And feel it. Could be shame, could be sadness. Allow yourself to feel deeper inside yourself as you feel your feelings. Get intimate with that part of you. As you fall deeper and deeper into stillness. Of fully accepting everything as it is. Your feelings just as they are. No resistance. Be still and know that I am. I am. Allow the sound of that bell and my voice to wake us up from any trance we might be in or any thoughts. And just let them go and fall back into love.
allow the sound of the bell, the sound of my voice to wake you up from any thought trance. And just let it go and fall back into love.
allow the sound of the bell and the sound of my voice to wake us up from any thought to let it go and fall back into love. And that's our final bell. Bring us back to the space together. I'm sure I'm not speaking for Mankind Project. I'm speaking for myself. And I'm make very clear, I'm not speaking for anybody but myself. Everything I do is about myself. I'm not speaking about views of the Mankind Project, the church, or anything else. What I have to talk about is strictly about me and my view of the world. But I was with a couple of Mankind Brother, Mankind Project brothers last night, and we are sharing our stories. So I have nothing to say about the view of the man. I don't know what the views of the Mankind Project are, so I'll be clear about that. I'm happy to, I'm happy to add that and. Uh, I don't know that I've ever actually implied that I have a view of the Mankind Project, but uh, I'm happy to comply with that view. Yeah, I don't have any, I'm not sharing anybody's views or opinions but my own. And the truth is, I don't know. I don't know about any of this stuff. And um, I just give you what I do know and share my wisdom with you. So... There you go. Um, 
anybody help anything else they want to add to this today i'm going to be live on uh, a guest on jen grace's show at one o'clock today which i'm excited about and i don't know how to tell you to get there but uh, if you go to jen t grace on facebook uh, and jennifer brown i'm going to be their guest today at one so I'm very excited to be their guest. Jen was a guest on here a while back, and um, uh, that was that was pretty exciting. So I'm excited to be on their show because this is what we're doing right now. This is how I'm adding value to the world. As I'm adding my contribution by creating this sanctuary for us to come together to love and support each other, and um, that's what I do. That's what I'm here for. <laughs> I'm not here to express anybody's any opinions of anybody <laughs> but my own. So moving on. I'm moving on to thank you Mindy for being me I am definitely being me and and uh, so very good um, thank you for joining us today I just think it's funny that somebody from the mankind project would be watching me and think that I'm somehow <laughs> putting out the views of the mankind project <laughs> Oh, Lord, people are so funny, aren't they? <laughs> people are so funny in this world, and I love it. I love it all, you know? I love it all. Uh, love it all. I appreciate it all. It's all good. It's all moving us in the right direction to a more loving and compassionate world. And I would say... A more loving and compassionate world. That is, that is the mission of the Mankind Project is to change, the, change the world one man at a kind at a time, by teaching people men to love themselves. So that is the mission of the Mankind Project. I will, I will put that out there. That from what I know about the Mankind Project, you can go to their website. It's about spreading the word that and creating an opportunity for men to, to truly love themselves and love each other. And that's what they teach out of the shadow work. So enough said. You make me feel good. You're so welcome. You make me feel real good. And when are you going to come on my show, Audrey? Um, love to have you sometime. Your big heart and beautiful smile and wisdom. Um, love to have you come on sometime and, and share your stories with us. So with nothing else left to say today, I will sign out with, with, with let's all create a beautiful story in the future and, um, and may love and prosperity continue to prevail across the world and shine a light in this darkness. Much love.